House of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and today we are talking about luxurious Scandinavian style. And I am so excited, I almost can't stand it, because this is a style that I personally identify with as I've been putting together my own home. This is the one that I just keep going back to over and over and over. And I get a little bit scared, I guess, because I'm like, nobody seems to do this style. And I'm like, okay, why is that? Well, because there's like no content out there about it. And so I thought, you know what, let me just make a video. Let me just share this style. Let me share what I'm personally processing through as I'm creating my own home and looking for this style. Because I actually think there's a lot of you based on your comments, what you guys say to me in our virtual sessions and what I see you guys writing. I really think that you're gonna absolutely love this style. If you love to have adventures and travel and yet bring all that inspiration home with you, this is very likely going to be your channel. So you may want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and let's talk about this style. What is this? Well, before we can talk about what it is, we really need to define what it isn't. Because I think that so many people have an idea in their minds of what Scandinavian style is. And this is very different probably from what you have in your head. So that might make some of you upset, <laughs> but I think it's gonna make a lot of you really, really happy because that typical Scandinavian style, it, it actually is not necessarily cheap. There's a lot of cheaper options because it's gone very mainstream. So that style typically is focused on that 1960s, mid-century modern look. You've got the angled lace, you've got a lot of walnut, you have this certain look to the credenza and the sofas. And it's all that style is what people associate with Scandinavian style. And this is very different from that. So those of you that love that French style, we talk about that so much on this channel you're very likely going to love this style. The luxury Scandinavian style is not a word that they would use themselves. And I, I learned about this style when I lived in Copenhagen and I was working in luxury real estate and design and I was visiting in people's homes and I was seeing this style and I was just like blown away. Like I've never, I'd never seen anything like this before. And I want to be able to share with you how it is that you can create this style at home, whether you have an enormous budget and you can buy everything really high end, or if you're working on a smaller budget and you want to steal the style and recreate it in an affordable way, I'm gonna help you figure out exactly how to do it because I am figuring it out for myself because obviously I'm working on a smaller budget and I'm trying to figure out ways to bring the style into my home and I think that these things will really help you as much as they help me process through what it is exactly that I love about this style and how to bring it home. When I think about a luxurious Scandinavian style, I think about certain places that I visited while we were there and I go back to them for inspiration because I really struggle to find inspiration online about this style. And maybe part of that's because I don't know the right words to search for and it's just, there's a gold mine out there just waiting. If there is, please tell me <laughs> what keywords I should be looking for because I cannot find enough inspiration to feed my soul. <laughs> so what I do is I go back to those brands, those shops, the cafes that really just fed this style for me and some of those stores or places like Royal Copenhagen and um, Svetball in Norway and then there's Atwood 1969 and there's certain stores that I would go to these little tiny boutiques in Copenhagen that were amazing there was one that was called Rue something, I'll look it up. There's certain places that have this style. There's so many of these little, like little jewelry box boutiques that are absolutely amazing. And they just, you walk into them and the experience of being there feels so good and it's warm and it's inviting. And the same for the restaurants. I have several restaurants that I think of that just really nail this style. And hotels, hotels are another great source. You can really see this style when it's elevated 
at kind of like its height of its style and what you can do with it. I think there's a lot out there that can inspire us and I hope there'll be more homes in this style. Just let me know, we can do this at your house and then we'll just start creating more <laughs> so that we can all enjoy the content. <laughs> but before we can create all that, we really need to know what exactly are we trying to create with? And those are those key elements, those key materials and fundamentals of this style that will really help you nail it. So one of my favorites, of course, is a warmth. That is something that I just love about this style. There's a warmth. Um, in Denmark, they would call that huga. It's that perfection. That's that perfect moment when everything comes together and you feel warm and cozy and happy and you're looking for to create you're looking to create those moments in your rooms so that you can live those moments in your lives that's what your room is doing it's creating a backdrop for those perfect moments of your life So the next aspect is that it's very sophisticated, it's very elegant, but we do not give up approachability. It's very approachable. It's meant to be sat on. It's meant to be enjoyed. It's meant to be something for your family to come together and these spaces are livable. So chic and sophisticated and elegant, but still livable. It's comfortable as well. These are fabrics that you want to sit in. These are not low chairs. I see a lot in the Scandinavian design where they do these wire chairs. And I have, I have to tell you, I have a really great one that's out in my garden right now. <laughs> it was an outdoor chair and I can't sit in that chair because when I get up from it, I can barely walk. I'm like, oh my, my back. Oh. <laughs> So I know there's going to be some of you that are going to argue that mid-century modern pieces are the most comfortable pieces on the planet and if they are for you, awesome, buy them, <laughs> create at your home with them. I love that. But for me, I don't want to put my arm necessarily on an uncomfortable arm of a chair. The, the, these styles are, there's a timelessness to them, there's a classic comfort and it's about having your luxurious moment in which you are comfortable but you still feel chic and sophisticated. There's also the element of exoticism, which I think always kind of goes into this luxury idea. I think because travel is a luxury and travel is so accessible nowadays that it makes me kind of sad that people feel like exoticism is something that only the wealthy would be able to have because it's really not true. Exoticism to me is about somewhere else. You've gone somewhere else and brought something back. And this style typically might have something from Africa. They might use African bus. They might use something from Thailand. They might include something from their latest trip to, I don't know, to the forest even. It's, it's about going places and bringing that home, which probably does not surprise you. This is the style why I love this so much, you know, because it's so interconnected to my personal ethos. And as I've said before, there is a timelessness to everything. There's a classic line to things. You, you buy something that's gonna last you for a really long time. Um, I'm seeing a lot right now on the market that's a lot of this rounded furniture and even Scandinavians are real, they're the forerunners of that style, okay? I'm seeing it come from places like Gooby, which is one of my personal favorite brands. Again, it comes with a very high price tag. It's not that that is cheap and, and this is expensive, it's, it's not. It's that this is a style that's focused on clean lines, simple classic pieces that you can switch the cushions out and you can change out the greenery and you can create this style that will really just create this sort of classic, elegant timelessness. Hopefully I'm painting this picture of this style enough for you because it really is amazing and I'm really excited to dive into this more as I as I look towards the holidays that are coming up. This is the style that I'm personally going to be focused on and I cannot wait to share more with you. So stay tuned. I 
hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's given you just a little taste of this style. If you think that it's maybe should be called something else, let me know what you think it should be because you're gonna be hearing a lot of it <laughs> from me. Thank you so much for coming by for a visit. You guys know that I love this. I've got my coffee just hanging out over here. You guys know that I love to um, just spend time with you and talk about design and talk about these beautiful spaces that we're creating. And more than anything, it's about that life that we're creating, the life, and this is the backdrop to that. And creating warm coziness. Oh, man, I'm just craving it right now. You guys let me know if you are too. So I'm gonna go for now and I will see you soon. Bye, cheers. Something that just has that sort of chic, cozy vibe to it. I imagine like cuddled by the fire with these beautiful throws. You guys know, if you watched my blanket video, I'm like, oh good, just what I need, an excuse to need one more throw. <laughs> but they really do nail this style and